We are live this. now. Uh, okay, look at live. this cornet position, though. This is uh, I'm going un unorthodox. I'm going. It is. Just say it's unorthodox. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to U.S. Man, if I just I, OWI, just give me a keybind for this. This is annoying. <laughs> All right, let's see here. U.S. forces moving out. Two squads from Rangers. The recon squad moving down the hill to their southeast. And the uh, striker not in use. Springerstein uh, seems to be idling this guy. He's sitting in the gun. Waiting to be called up as the main landing force or the squad at the main landing area is pushing up. And the two ranger squads, one broke off to the north. There looks like they're heading straight for where the convoy could be. Oh, and some Russians look like they're headed for they might already be inside this building. Yeah. Dash B and chicken. Chicken has binocs. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you he sees these guys. Fast to contact op rose. I definitely agree. And matter of fact, here we go. The Ranger squad starts shooting at two guys in a window. So Chicken and Dashby hit the deck. It's probably Silas that took that shot. Look at him. He's just waiting for these guys to pop out of another window again. He wants another shot. Uh, <laughs> with a deployed bipod why would you why would you peek this on the same level yep and dash b and chicken both did the same thing actually that's the only way out of their building they're currently moving south what are they gonna do they're gonna leave no that can't be the only way into their building there's gotta be a back door right yeah so these guys are just freaking out. They don't know what to do. Standard stuff. Okay. U.S. forces continuing to push on. The Northern Ranger squad is pushing through the village here, the village edge, and they're building a building. Meanwhile, the main landing force occupying this industrial zone. With the striker in tow. Go south. Right Find a spot. Reverie in Springerstein. Springerstein on the crow's system. Modern death is our hat. Uh, command, you've got one times um, at least infantry east of you on the high rise east of you. Across the road. I think they spot Sethers. High rise east of you across the road. Look at this. A lat. Hazel, there's a fucking, there's this little yellow house. You could probably put a couple guys in it to be a better uh, eyes out for us. Just southeast. Hazel probably doesn't have a good shot on the, uh, yeah, he definitely doesn't, but he might get some infantry here in a second. Kuba, Deathcon, Triton, Efank, they're all moving closer. And. Frost is in the opposite window. He looks like he's just got an AK. The striker is now adding some fire in this direction. And Clay J being super cautious. Yeah, 
the uh, smoke rounds being being given go. permission to use here. Alright, Dorf, uh, we're moving off our hilltop now. Looks like there's about a squad spread out in those buildings uh, to our direct west. We're going to try to uh, sleep them from north to south. Oh no, Chicken died. Dash beat okay, by himself, falling back to his squad lead. So that's the first kill. Goes to US. Uh, this ranger squad right here. Ooh, Frost takes a shot at Deathcon. Ooh, look at this little angle that the Frost has got going on here. Shots being returned. And Frost ducks out of the window. Maybe Frost is the guy they saw. Uh, tactical proximity chat doesn't work from team to team, so U.S. Uh, U.S. local comms can't be heard. Oh. There's an RPG that came out from Springerstein. Maybe that was saying Obama, but that doesn't make sense. I think it was just Springerstein. A little errant shot there. Uh, as I was saying, the proximity chat doesn't work from team to team, so Russians can't hear U.S. comms, vice versa. Mighty just in the open here, believing in the, uh, the stone embankment. Watch your cross. U.S. forces pushing in. Three, how's it going? Koopa adding some fire, trying to get his guys moving. Uh, it's going good so far. We're, we've had an ND, so they probably know we're coming. Uh, we're still going to try to flank around north and see what we can do. Uh-oh. Oh. Deathcon's down? Yeah. I don't know where I got one, one down. Deathcon got tapped. We're gonna move east, roughly towards the Probably from east. up on the hill. Can't see anyone this time. Ooh, oh. shots coming in from the sandbags. Mighty's down. Oh. That shot's across the southeast. And E Fink. Has loaded a projectile in the Carl Gustav. What's he gonna do with it? Oh, Mighty's dead. Whoa. I see contact one six on the sand. All right. Um. U.S. forces trying to put some fire on here. The strikers now being added into the mix. U.S. forces slowly pushing towards the gas station area. Russians moving one squad around. They've uh, looks like they've abandoned the coronet, one of the coronet positions, and they're moving to uh, get some forces over here. The U.S. recon squad just started taking, just started shooting on Russians. Meanwhile, the BTR has taken their old position. On top of the hill. So the U.S. force is about three to four hundred meters in front of the BTR. The BTR is now adding fire. Here, it's auto cannon going. Get him! I just too far. I don't want to take a shot. No, there's a squad lead behind him. Looking. It is yes. Oh, I see him. I see him. I'll take that fucking shot. You see him? They got eyes on Phoenix. There's too much foliage. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. And Phoenix got to cover real quick. No. Lucky for him. Ooh, Dashby gets hit twice. And a third time right in the side. He bleeds out. Phoenix able to reposition in the meantime. He's down to just JP and Nahar real close. Let's see what that BTR is shooting at. I'm actually curious. Russian infantry, 
Oh, look at the PTR's position. It's on this... It's on this decline right here. Decline. Incline? I guess we call it an incline. But it's got enough depression. And Russians are shooting RPGs from here. Whoa. It's got enough depression where it can basically just throw rounds at any anything they want. Any US position they want, this BTR can relatively engage. And the smoke mortars are active. Rounds are going out from Razor. Smoke mortars are in this position. Razor's just the last one. Or just the one, only one on the mortar right now. And the smoke rounds are landing right in front of the... They're landing right in front of the striker. There you go, the striker is getting more and more cut off from the from the U.S. push here. More smoke rounds coming out. We got smoke rounds from the, uh, from the, uh, anti-tank units. The Carl Gustav put one in the side of the building there. While U.S. forces just chip away at the convoy. One is down. Three trucks in the convoy remain. One of them has actually been hit. Or is actually coming down. K9 and... Who's this? Music. An AR combo. Suppressing some U.S. positions here when they see them. See if I was close to hitting the striker. I did not see. Um, I did not see the striker being shot at. However, the striker is at full health. Deathcon, not the first to go down. Maybe the first uh, in your squad to go down. Ooh, look at this. Kuba trades with Saiyan Obama. And that's another link of the chain of command gone. As Kuba was acting... Was acting too. And now Efank's in charge. He traded, he traded, he traded. Hold on. Do we have an FTR? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm not in charge. Alright, looks like three fucking got themselves wiped out pretty quick. Um, looks like it's yet. U.S. forces right, no unable. Early, so U.S. recon team unable to really uh, to. get themselves yeah, out here. Moving. Unreal, yeah. dude. This is fucking unreal. Yeah. All right, fucking have. Is it? Have your guy one man it. I don't. Flicker caught up in the open here. The U.S. Light Recon Group getting uh, getting pushed in the back pretty hard by a fire team plus size element. Command is part of the stri Command is part of the BTR over here. And the striker now being called in to expedite U.S. objective. Um, the U.S. objective here and the striker. Here's the striker. The striker's hiding. Um, I guess the striker is hiding. This position's not bad for the gunner, but he's got nothing to shoot at. Revy now getting ready to move the striker out. Get ready to see the uh, 20 point turn it's going to take for him to get out of this corner. I think that was three. It's four. Alright, so five point turn, whatever. Out of my way, out of my way. Out of my way, out of my way. Ooh, 
The BTR is shooting at the striker? That's accurate. Holy shit. shit. That was real close. BTR is shooting at the striker. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna provide you some covering fire, guys. Like, hold on, Sam. Revy so gets into the gunner. Where's this bitch shooting at me from? Where they can go? And there it is. The BTR is up on the hill. No one has eyes on. Where they shoot? I don't know, Revy. Seemed like it came pit bull. Oh, the good hour. It's great. G-Man, come back here. And the BTR okay, like the hitting the Moving striker back. again. North? Alright guys, get on um, the short line. Short line. The BTR is just chipping away at the uh, striker, but... Um... Can't tell if the striker's actually taking damage here. U.S. forces moving into trying to secure gas station ahead of popping all the vehicles. Two are down, two remain, and there's a Russian force. Wait, who's that? Zaki is in this building. Zaki is in this building, right? Oh fuck! Flicker's dead. Oh boy. And does he see Mark? I think he's taking shots at Mark. Mark is hiding behind the van. And uh, Efank. Efank got him eventually. But Phoenix and a fire team just have eyes on. Silent. Ooh, look at that. Muff takes down Chanka. I guarantee you that was Muff. Hold on a second. Where? I guarantee you that was Muff. Whew. Four. Bring the rest of your squad what a shot. Chanka was trying to get into the gas station area. It's just marked there by himself. And uh, smoke round being shot, so I think uh, Raptor Force and Silas are just gonna put C4 charges on the. Uh, they're gonna put C4 charges on the convoy. Sugar's real close here. Does Silas know? Yeah, Silas knows. Sugar stops behind a tree. Silas positions himself. And the C4 charges are set, and these guys are stuck here. They're gonna hang out and try to use the explosion as cover. Although they have a decent shelf here. Oh. Yeah. The Lodgy's tires are shredded, but it's not uh, exploding. It's not exploded. So three Lodgy's down, one more. One more still okay. up. It doesn't appear to be burning down either, so... Smoke mortars in the distance. And right Russian right forces... Right. The Conant squad is abandoned position, and they're coming up right now. Right now it's been four U... It's been pretty much four U.S. squads against two Russian squads. Two and a half Russian squads. That's about to change. Uh, Silas and Raptor Force are just stuck here. And, oh yeah, the last Lodgy is on fire, so it is burning down. And mortars all around the location, pretty much denying its use to U.S. right now. As the Russians are running to catch up. And the striker is now going off road to a place where it can't go. Uh, ooh, this is a risky proposition. I think it also senses that. The BTR, I believe. Oh, the BTR moved. No, the BTR still on the hill. 
Who's in this BTR actually? Pony Command is right there. Quick Scratch is on top of the BTR. Oh, he's behind it, but he's got a rocket. Hawk seems to be gunning the BTR for Peach driving it. And Coolius Guy and Oddball are getting in the fight too. They're coming down the hill. Lots of casualties here as Russia pretty much with the smoke rounds, they're cutting off U.S. advance here and reinforcing this multi-story right next to the, uh, ooh, NSA running under the road. Fulcrum running into the gas station. Ooh. With uh, no one in the gas station for U.S. right now, technically Russia hold the objective. U.S. have to evict these guys out of the gas station. Liberal's been shot twice trying to cross the road. He's definitely going to bleed out. Milkshake gets to the gets to the building. So what's going to happen here? Is he just going to stack by himself and go into it? Hmm, I don't know. I think Sloth Boy's on the back side of the building in this. Sloth Boy. Coming out. What is Milkshake gonna do? Milkshake is sort of stuck here. The C4 he has doesn't have enough explosion. He's gonna go in by himself. He takes the uh, front entrance here. It looks like there's like one, two, maybe two people in this apartment. I think Sinful's here and Groot is upstairs as well. Rocket's coming in. He think eats a rocket. More smoke mortars. Cutting the US off from making it to the gas station. Sugar pushes down onto the road, but Silas and the Raptor Force don't know. Sugar trying to find him. Raptor Force eats a grenade. Silas is bleeding. He's been hit a couple times now. Rounds are falling all around him. The BTR is actually firing at him. And then he dies. But he trades with Sugar. Oof. The BTR on the hill. A massive win here. Uh, let's see. Stop, boy. Catches Dark Milkshake not aware. And there's the U.S. presence in the uh, building here. Music and seared chess run into the smoke. And Clay J able to take down seared. And music as music tried to push the staircase there. Two more in the building today. So two guys north north. Sinf uh, north. looks like Groot got hit somehow. I think he got shot through a window. And Sinful content to just watch the staircase here holding the stair and Groot's helping him. Not a bad idea, especially since US are definitely throwing bodies at this building trying to clear it. U.S. forces are spread out. There seems to be a fire team in reserve that's moving north from the striker. The striker hasn't really been used a lot either. Not that I can tell. Um, 18 kills for U.S., 22 kills for Russia, so it's pretty close. And as I say that, the striker moves up. Springer, do we have five kills yet? I don't know. Alright, hold, 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 hold. Ooh, I think, I think, uh, yeah, Sinful just died in the building. Meanwhile, U.S. are pushing into a Russian reinforced side here, and... G-Man just trying to figure out where to go. Doesn't even look like he's deployed bipod. Fulcrum in it. I don't know who. Oh, my uh, zoom screwed up here. 
Volcrum shooting back here. Rounds coming into the window. Ooh, Tinkerbell got killed. Oddball and Coolius guy. Oh, Gorwolf. Look at that! Gorwolf just bosses it. Deploys a bipod right in the road. Oh my gosh. Oh, the uh, ooh grenade, not far Medics enough. Ah uh, shit! All right, guys, pull back. Oddball pull back. and Coolius guy could make a real difference here if they're able to sneak completely up on the backside of the uh, U.S. infantry here. Slump boy and Groot still holding the building, and the cornet squad is here. Razor, the mortar, uh, mortar man squad, or mortar squad leader, is, um, you know, just chilling in this bush like you do. And There's two of them. look at this. Cue the vapor wave. Got him. Sounds like they're G-Man hit by Groot, I guess, but uh, that's it. Roger. Roger. I'll heal you both after. Sorry. As Groot comes back up to the... Groot's testing him, testing... Uh, his participation in this round right now. Smokes dissipate. Let's put some suppression down for I wonder what they're gonna do about this uh, striker. How are we doing on ammo? Uh, you Russia uh, don't have a lot of um, anti-tank to play with here. Yeah. We still have to deal with that BTR eventually. Speaking of the BTR, it's coming down the mountain. And it's made its way here. And Pony gets dropped off on it. Let's see if we can get a better shot on where this BTR is right now. It's in a driveway, just chilling there. Uh, vroom vroom, my mom's car. Pulls out the driveway. It's going to go to work. So the BTR, all the BTR has to do is just get on the main road. Find a nice long shot at, at it from range. It's definitely possible here. We'll keep an eye on how that BTR is doing. Hawk and Atomic Peach getting closer to the action. No reports of movement. As U.S. get whittled down, Coolius guy working behind U.S. lines right now. An oddball along with him. Is G-Man going to see Oddball here? He might. Oh, he's not looking that direction. Oddball doesn't actually see Modern Death or G-Man. And Modern Death takes out Oddball. Coolius guy shoots G-Man in the front. And Modern Death retreating. The, uh... The BTR getting closer to the road. Gonna, it's getting well. real close. As a matter of fact, there it is. Oh, it's got a shot on the rear end of the striker. So it'll just be a matter of time before they start shooting at it. Here we go. The BTR directly engages the striker. Uh oh. The striker loses a tire. Yeah, pretty. They're gonna throw frags in here, so we need to do something. And that's a lot of damage on the striker right there. It's in yellow. I got one smoke left. That's bad news. The uh, the aggression here is lost on US as Russians continuously probe who's left, and there's not really a lot of people left. 24 kills for US, 34 kills for Russia. I believe they're down. I believe we're down to the last. Uh, 
four guys here. There's two in the striker. And then there's Darkness 2156 and Modern Death. Modern Death, a hat. Could really turn the tide if he has a rocket and take uh, out that uh, BTR. Uh, defensive positions. That's what we can do. Front row. Raj. I hear a Vic coming down the street. Oh, is the BTR rolling up? Smoke covers the road. The BTR is going to roll. It's going to try to bypass the road and get north so it can put some more shots on this striker, I believe. Peach gingerly taking it through the woods here. Because if it gets beached on a hill, that's bad news. They don't have another vehicle to push it with. Command for Russia joins the fun. Vader Centurion finds something to shoot at. I think he uh, is trying to shoot at Modern Death here. Nope. Darkness. Ooh. Gerwolf. Clearing the room. Forgets about the last Down guy. Loaded. I've got one mag left. I'm watching you. I hear him getting close. And a grenade comes doors, in. Watch my north. Watching north. Let's see how JP deals with it. Oh, GP, JP actually bandaging. He's hit by that frag. Let's see what, uh... Oh, the BTR. Getting closer now. Roger. Might be a good idea to get out of that thing if they see. BTR is gonna lurk around for a shot on the striker. It's probably gonna find one here in just a second. As it comes around, the striker's shooting at it. The striker disables the BTR. The BTR suffers engine damage, but the striker is abandoned. Springerstein gets... Springerstein gets hit? Ooh... I think that's it, actually. I think everyone got out of the beat striker just then. At the worst possible moment. And that is GG. The BTR pushed up on the striker just when everyone got out of it, I think. Oof. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, this round, uh, last round, honestly, <laughs> we did a great job. Um, Sorry, he said. Defend. We did lose the lodges, unfortunately. Never mind, we we're gonna listen to this brief here. Station, which was good. Uh, and so we did manage to pull it out there. It's good work, all of you. This round, we unfortunately don't get to attack a gas station, which is what I wanted to do. Uh, and what I've also wanted to do. Um, so we're gonna have to attack these fucking coordinate positions. And but don't worry, we're gonna do it in style. No recon, no rangers. Just good old GI and a strike, uh, storming the beaches, storming the town, and killing all of the Russians along the way. So, how does this work? Exactly. Precisely. The tactic America is most known for, the human wave offensive. Um, so Phoenix is, Russia. is going to proceed off of live, uh, and they're going to move maneuver through the towns, maneuver through the, the hill, and they're going to go and they're going to knock the out five marks on the map. Position. Uh, an H822, if there is one there. Only two out of these three corner positions will actually have cornets on them. Uh, if there is not a cornet there, then they will not, obviously, knock one out. Uh, once they've knocked it out, they're going to proceed, uh, basically... Well, they're probably just going to hold tight, or they're going to proceed back to the radio tower and try and fend off Russian contacts coming in from the other two locations, since that's, you know, a strong possibility that they'll come from there. Uh... Then next, we're going to have a squad under the command of Razor kind of following behind them, providing support, uh, and trying to maneuver the striker across the bridge. Uh, and then once you get you know, the striker's going to be back, though. The striker's going to be following the infantry, like, way behind, so that way it doesn't get fucking cornered. If the striker get cornered, someone somewhere fucked up. Um, so that better not happen. Truth. Now, Razor's squad is ultimately trying to reach uh, the crossroads here and secure it. Uh, and then assisting them will also be, we have Shook Squad, they're maneuvering on the far south, kind of through the fields, through the slopes, and they're kind of flanking around, 
uh, providing supporting fire for Sloth Boy Squad, who will be crossing the river, and then engage in a direct offensive along the road uh, where they were stationed last round, defending to knock out those two southern cornet positions. Does anyone have any questions, comments, or concerns about any aspect of this plan? Uh, let's see. And we're live now. There's Quinnet position number one, right. offset to the road, instantly manned. As the last words from command before the offset are, kill them all, standard. And here is the second Quinnet position. Contact. Whoa, what? Contact. So, the Americans crossed the river. And the striker, manned by K9 and Seer Chess. K9 on the gun, Seer Chess at the wheel. So, good fella. Just finesse, huh? He's just trying to move slowly. Give K9 plenty of time to look at something before you can, uh... Just hold this probably at this corner. Right. Stop it on the break there. You, uh... Don't stop in the middle of the road, dude. Come Phoenix, on, man. Phoenix, uh, do you want to swap, I guess, and attack radio tower from the north? You attack yeah, copy. South, fold I don't have a... <laughs> So there are going to be two squads heading up towards Radio Tower. Fight Milk and Bart. Don't worry, we have K9. Yeah, I just bring up the Striker to engage those guys, I mean. Striker might have some targets to shoot at very shortly here. Razor's reporting contact. So, let me see what he's looking at. Oh, yeah, he probably see... He probably saw these guys in the window. Ooh. Silas is visible. He's looking this direction. And I think Terrapin doing the same thing. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And, um. Keep pushing. Ooh, keep pushing. inside the striker there. Hold, 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 hold. Ooh, Terrapin gets destroyed. Terrapin destroyed. Right out the gate. That's the kill number one. And repositioning the striker so that the front armor is facing the threat. Taking a look at Russian positions. The BTR is actually... Ooh, the BTR is behind the coordinate position. Let's take a look at this. This was the squad... There's a squad that comes with the BTR out of Maine. And Alpha Guido... Let's see, Boxer Acorn driving for Lord Chanka. And I believe they hear the striker engaging targets... Something tells me these guys are going to reposition here. Well, they're going to try to anyway. A little bit of a, little bit of a tough lip to climb there on the road. Let's see if using the road will help here. Ooh, look at that! It's a little, uh, it's a little funny, a little missed mesh there in the, uh, in the thing. Ronan and looks like part of Pony Sloth Squad are actually engaging here. This is coordinate position number one. Let's see who has eyes. These guys might have eyes on this on this house right here. Uh, we have at the house that uh, Koopa's in right here. Copy. All right, 
infantry moving around. Another, some more casualties here. Modern death, and looks like G-Man. That's infantry fire. Chicken's trying to shoot up here, uh, shoot up hill here. Keep my eyes open at that uh, greenhouse. The striker's adding some fire here too. Let's go over to check out the striker. What it's shooting at? The striker is still in the same position, living its best life, shooting uphill, scanning a tree line. There are a lot of trees in the way, so I imagine it's rough to see anything. Uh oh, frost. No, that's not frost dead. That's spectator camera. Frost got himself a little dirty position right here, looking up at the blue house. Suspected enemy contact in that house, I heard. And they may have been right for a hot second, but I think everyone fell back. Just take three windows there. And Pony hears the BTR. Wonder what they're shooting at. A fire team here is tree to tree fighting going on right now. Grenades flying in. More grenades coming. Jenga throws a grenade in. I guess a little bit far here. Another grenade comes in. Actually causes Oddball to get hit. And Cyborg Clone, Colonel Cyborg Clone also gets hit. They're both going to be fine. They both stabilize. U.S. forces moving up the hill. I guess they want to... I guess they're trying to look at taking on the, um... There's a set of buildings directly 000, maybe near there. I guess they're just ignoring the, B the BTR audio here. This is a ship. Yeah. Flicker's on the uh, Cornet position. I wonder if Coolius guys can be able to take a shot from here. BTR got hit. BTR shooting into the uh, side here. Gorf got hit twice. Gorf might bleed out. He bleeds out. And here comes a rocket. What the fuck? Rocket lands right in front of Coolius guy. He survives. Well, apparently we have good space. That means that one cornet is northeast of us. That might have been Flicker on the Cornet then. US have got to get their self in gear. They're trying to take Radio Tower as a diversionary tactic. But they should probably think about. Smoke, so. <laughs> Not like I can retreat much more. Yeah. Is it a hab? If we can get that sufficiently suppressed, we're gonna push well, they must have built a hab for everyone to spawn in at. Basically, to G951. Unless, uh, I can't see H928, but that might have been... That's a little cheeky. Koopa falling back. So, maybe Russia had given up? This first cornet position? That looks like two is down. Yeah, and Sergeant Jackson falling back too, so... And that's Russia Command. Oh, I see a bunch of red. U.S. getting closer to the radio tower, although they just lost a man up there. Athol's dead just now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, use the, we'll use it whatever it can, basically. If you use the bridge, then 
Hammered Heaver, the last one on the point. Ooh, Zaki gets shot from behind. Mr. Muffs and Springerstein come up behind. Get the drop on an element. Phoenix is dead, too. I think I think Mr. Muffs and Springerstein just killed four right there. Muffs going to add a grenade in. But with Phoenix dead, that, and I think Dashby was an FTL, that's a lot of, uh, or he may not have been an FTL, but still. A heads up play by Springerstein and Mr. Muffs. Giving uh, Russia a little bit of daylight here on this hillside defense. 10 kills for US, 14 kills for Russia. The trade's not going in US's favor here. As Russia abandoned the first Cornet site and pull back to the second. Alright, so we know there's a coordinate in H929, or at least we're pretty sure. Uh, Command, uh, I have one fire team pushing back north. Have been any Ooh, kind of take a look at Deathcon here. He's got himself a nice window that overlooks the road. He might actually barely be spotting this U.S. infantry in the distance here. Oh, look at this. Alpha Guido boogieing APA with Mark have a fire team in the hills. They're going to come down on top of the U.S. forces that are pushing in. These guys are simply calling in information right now. Everyone with Binox out looking for targets. The BT or the striker actually comes up here. <clears throat> cornet, uh, let's see where the other cornet is. The cornet is next to Triton's position here. Let's take a look at what the cornet can see from here. Dwarf immediately on the cornet. Okay, so the coolest guy in Atomic? Yep. Yeah. Alright, have the striker proceed to G107, or have the striker proceed to two actual, and then proceed to two actuals Eastern Fire Team. Two actuals Eastern Fire Team. They're gonna send the striker up the hill. So, looks like there's gonna be a duel between the uh, BTR and the striker very soon, and. All the BTRs got to do is lure the striker in for the cornet to shoot up the shoot up the hillside here because this cornet definitely has a better chance to hit targets to its uh, southwest here. Just look at this wide open area. All the striker has to do is come to the come to the uh, come to this wood line here. Uh oh. Quick Scratch and Money Man. No, wait, Money Man's an admin. So, Quick Scratch. I think these guys started engaging. Boogie shooting blind through a bush. Quick Scratch doing the same thing. And here comes a grenade. Can switch, Quick Scratch run away? No, it actually goes past. It bounces past. Quick Scratch. Alpha Guido's still up too. This fire team in the back doing its job. And Pony's here too. Pony's real close to Alpha Guido. Alpha Guido has a pretty good position here. All he's got to do is suspect that if Pony steps near him, Guido's going to hear it. And then there goes U.S. Command. As a matter of fact, Guido turns towards the sound. Uh-oh. What was that? Coolius guy's dead. Smoke mortars? What'd you miss? 
U.S. are throwing a lot of their infantry to the south here. They're trying to push a radio tower, but I think they've stopped that. They're attacking the coordinate positions. One coordinate position was abandoned by Russia. And now the strikers up on the southern uh, hillside here. 200 meters away from the BTR now. The BTR is moving slowly uphill. Striker shooting at something. Safe, safe so much, so. Okay, the <laughs> the striker is trying to hit some infantry up here. I think it might have seen Boogie. Oh, so you can barely see east. Boogie right there. There he is. East, east. Oh. He's east looking. Side. He's looking right at the striker. <laughs> All right, remember. Hold, 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 hold. I think K9 may have gotten another glimpse at it. Oh no. The BTR. It's getting near the turret. BTR throws smoke. That BTR is down half health. BTR lucky there. Good thinking on the gunner to throw that smoke out. Let's take a look at the. Uh, Status of the BTR. The BTR are running away. He claimed to may have damaged the gun. I don't see that turret moving at all. Yeah, I don't see the turret moving at all. I think the BTR's gun is dead. And the driver gets out. Yeah, I think that's uh, it. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. The BTR is disabled. Although it didn't get in quite enough 50 cal for me to say that it's heavily damaged. It's definitely not doing so well, though. A big loss for Russia. Tell the striker you should try and go for a mobility kill on the BTR. Uh, that way we can conserve some ammunition. Pushes east, pushes east. And the striker's gonna approach. Uh oh. There's plenty of uh, woods between Just, uh, the cornet position that Russia still occupies. Uh oh, what was that? Ooh, take a look at that. Russians pushed past the U.S. forces. They're going to the docks where U.S. started from. They're gonna come yeah. up behind. Uh, U.S. Command, we're popping smokes on this, uh, building right now. We're gonna start pushing it. Clay J leading the squad here. I think more smoke mortars. No, not, not smoke mortars, actually. There's no... That's the mortar team. This is the mortar squad. Smoke screens up, pushing it. The mortar squad in the, uh, leftovers of the convoy defense squad. I believe that's Silas Nightmare and Raptor Force here, part of that. They've uh, pushed all the way around, pretty much taken the same route that U.S. did to get up the hill. U.S. forces finally pushing across the field to take coordinate yeah, yeah. position number one. There's still this Mountaineer fire team. Now with two more crewmen, none of these guys have actually gone down. They're doing a really good job of holding it down. Boxier gets killed, crossing in the open here. Just go to crewmen. They probably get the BTR since the gun was damaged. And immediately the gunner knows that's a crewman. And now, now U.S. command knows. Yeah, get 
striker, get the striker regrouped on the fucking corner position. It just got padded, so. Then we're gonna use the 50 cal to suppress the second threat. I need to confirm that I can see the second They're shooting rockets at the uh, infantry group here north of the corner position. Reloading. You can hear the bullets ricocheting past. Yeah, they're in Okay, copy. Someone else. Okay, yeah, it's H929 is the coordinate. Okay. So what we do, if it's north of the road, that means we can swing. Anyone have binoculars? No, I don't. What's up? Anyone have binoculars? Yeah, I've got infantry on the low wall, right at 180. Oh, looks like Bartok's gonna take a shot with this. Oh yeah, he... Bartok's switching to a rifle. U.S. infantry pushing past now, but oh uh oh, it looks like the BTR Atomic Peach with the. Getting shot from behind now. Gaming Mango and Boogie may have opened up. Next tree line. And the BT, uh, the strikers using a lot of ammo here, shooting a nothing. And the U.S. push not going very well. Sinful just died too. Oof. Who's winning? Let's take a look. 14 kills for U.S., 20 kills for Russia. U.S. in a pretty strong position here, but Russia are about to realize an entire squad in the backside of the U.S. force. More rockets coming in. And more smokes. Russians trying to uh, fall back to an, to their building across the street. You see Kuba and Ethank getting across. I think another Russian just died on his way across. Let's take a look at the positions right now. U.S. have a striker in the forest and they're moving down the hill. Meanwhile, U.S. Uh, Russian forces are holding the last cornet with their lives. I wonder... The cornet doesn't have a good firing position on the striker right now. If the striker gets closer to this tree line, that becomes more of a thing. I think I heard someone just get hit. Yeah, I think that was uh, Kuba. U.S. forces spreading out here. They're doing a pretty good job of assaulting the direction, although Clay and a squad or Clay squad is moving in. U.S. doing a tactical withdrawal here using the uh, using the striker. Oh, they don't know the Russians are behind them. The striker gets hit by a lot. I overshot just hold, 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 hold. Springsteen misses, misses the beat uh, misses the striker by about uh, five meters overhead. Meanwhile, I think that was Merrick that was shooting, gets a shot in the back and takes out a tire. Another shot in the back of the striker. Uh oh. Striker's gotta move or else it's gonna get hit again and it's gonna start popping off. Okay, we're out of ammo. And the striker has expended its ammo. The striker throws smoke and hits on I think that may have been another rocket hit. But with the striker out of ammo now, it's basically a mobile uh and the wheel's gone too. How's that happening? Oh. And here's the squad. This is the this is the Russian hope right here. 
A squad plus of infantry now in the backside of U.S. forces. And Pony wants a Pony wants an assault on the Cornet position now. Razier and Bartok sneaking along is just Dwarf on the Cornet. Everyone else is dead on the Cornet now, so it's just Russia Command. A recap: uh, 17 kills for U.S., 25 kills for Russia. That's a lot of Russians getting ready to close in. The striker gets hit again. And for some reason, there's still people... Uh oh If the striker goes down with command in it... Command jumps out. If the striker goes down with two infantry... Oh yeah, K9 and Seared abandoned as the striker is about ready to pop. Throwing smoke behind it, able to get forward a little bit. Gives... US three more riflemen on the point. What? Lord Chanka has revived the- has got the BTR back. Now the BTR's gun is damaged. Which means it's gonna have to position itself. The- the turret is not the turret's not gonna be able to move, but I wonder if the gun can get elevation. We'll see here in a second after uh, Chanka switches up. I imagine he's gonna switch to the gunner position here. Russian infantry are pouring in. Boogie off of Guido, Gaming Mango, come down the mountain all the way. They're getting ready. They're getting ready to overrun K9's position. I'm pretty sure that's the BTR dead. Boogie's running straight up on K9. K9 has Binox out. Bye bye, K9. Oh! No. Yep. K9 wasn't expecting that. And. JP and Pony returning fire on the Russians. Ooh, that's close. Mango and Alpha Guido pushing up here, too. He's dead. Oh, they're coming in close northwest. They're in frag range. I try to make all the clips worth it. Colonel Cyborg Clan. You know how it is. Uh, and, uh, Dorf's dead. No, Dorf's not dead. Dorf's taken down two or three? Throws a grenade. Uh oh. Muff gets hit by the frags. Muff's gonna throw his own grenade. Is Muff gonna bleed out? The frag hits the roof. Uh, Muff's a medic, so he's gonna bandage pretty quick, but he's... Still lost a lot of health. He's gonna take some time to heal, I imagine. Yep, straight to the med pack. Dwarf's still holding the last coordinate position here. And Pony wants to get in on the action, too. He's actually got himself kinda stuck with the Russian forces. Now linking back up with their command. Boogie nails Pony through the window. And U.S. forces are broken here at this point. 32 kills for Russia, 19 kills for U.S. The remaining U.S. alive. Oh, there's a f buddy team up here that has a mood. Vader and Music were trying to, get, trying to link back up with the U.S. attack here. And now it's just Muff on the point. With the Russians not that far behind. Muff versus Dorf. Muff's gonna slow peek it, but Dorf able to put another shot into Muff here. Muff's got plenty of bandages though. And Man Gaming Mango and Alpha Guido coming around. Muff hears Gaming Mango running on the gravel. Music and Vader Centurion, I think, are coming close. And I miss Muff getting killed. Whoops. And Gaming Mango is running this direction. I guess... Oh, and Music's here too. No, it's Music and uh, Vader Centurion. So they're crawling up. With Russians now re... 
capturing the area. Mango just ran over here. He's dead. Got one, got one. We gotta move, we gotta move. Come this way, come yeah, this way, quick. And Music and Invader Centurion are gonna move along. Yeah, they do. I just think it's a possibility they can come through, uh, through the river as well. Wait for Lay right here, lay right here where I'm at. Lay right here where I'm at. If you can, if, you can, if you're able to set up and watch this river. I'm gonna watch your uh, southwest and south. Take a look at the Russian positions here. Okay. Alpha Guido and Appa pushed up a little bit. There's a Russian fire team that's gonna cross the river. Silas leading that charge. Dorf still holding the uh, corner position. That was really close there for U.S. I think... I mean, there was just a lot of re-attacking positions that Russia were able to take up you the hill the best to the south. And then, instead of committing to a convoy defense, uh, Russia was able to pull the remaining squad there, and the mortar squad came come all the way around to the uh, west side and and come on in from the back side, the back side of the U.S. push. Ooh, music got hit. That might have been Silas from that distance. Uh, Vader adding in some uh, fire here. I think he just got hit too. So these guys are not long for this round. And Appa kills music. Alpha Guido looking for the last guy. Trades with Vader Centurion. And that will be it for Freedom Fjord.